Muslim shocks Christian with this. Can you give me one person, church father, first 300 years, who designated the Holy Spirit as co-equal, co-eternal, independent, the same language that they use in Nicaea for the Holy Spirit. Please do so. Who called the Holy Spirit co-eternal? The Bible calls him eternal. But the co-eternal does not come from the council. The co-eternal comes from the Bible. The earlier people would have said, we understand he's God. So... Do you know how many things in the Bible are, co uh, uh, are eternal? Look at Milchizdik. Milchizdik, he didn't have a mother, he didn't have a father. In the book of Hebrews, he was eternal. Bring him into the Trinity. You said God, just because something is referred to as theos in the Greek, it must be a co-eternal. Co then bring Paul in, bring the devil in, because they're called theos as well. I am by no means pro-Islamic as I view it as a false religion as well. But he handed that man all that he can handle because there is no response to that. There is absolutely no response to that. Because if you're gonna call something meaning it's eternal, then therefore it is a part of God. And you also have to remember that this creator says that we are also eternal. That is it not written that ye are gods. So that, that means that we are all eternal according to this book. So then we are all part of this Trinity as well according to this book now the same way that he said that i am the father and one he told his disciples a few verses later that they are one with him as well so then therefore you must bring all the apostles into the fold of the trinity as well it's not even a trinity anymore it's like a, a quadrillion trillion entities but also just by looking at the bible who else is eternal in the bible that he did not mention all the angels gabriel Mike, uh, Mikael, Azriel, all the other angels, all the other angelic hosts, the billions of billions upon them because it said that they number in the billions that they then too would all be eternal. And if eternal it will, is what the qualification is for you to be a part of this exclusive club trinity, then guess what? We're all eternal. The angels are all eternal. The disciples were all eternal. So therefore, there is no reason to make Jesus special. And actually, according to the book, Jesus wasn't trying to make himself special. But he didn't exist anyway. So y'all have a great day. And remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself. Because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey. Good vibrations.